Hello and welcome everybody to my channel. Thank you for participating. Today we'll talk about how to create an inflation of a vellum object that's uh, on the ground and slowly try to take shape and being affected by its weight and the constraint and the, the forces and finally uh, stand in shape. So I choose this status and uh, we'll go through the steps of creating this animation and this is a part of a um, couple of videos and this is the part we are talking about vellum so stay tuned wingfox is an online learning platform with excellent tutorial and it's a leading platform for artists to keep on growing and sharing and contacting and inspiring it contains cg vfx game art and graphic design and animation and plenty of marvelous tutorial a lot of excellent tutorials and Houdini has its own share with a lot of excellent tutorial and today I will tell you about comprehensive guide for filmmaking with Houdini and Unreal Engine 5 this is a very excellent tutorial that combine the new Unreal Engine 5 and Houdini and how we can export from Houdini to Unreal Engine 5. This course, they will talk about how set up to set up the Unreal project and the folder structure. We'll talk about the RBD uh, destruction and how to export it as, as FBX to Unreal Engine. Talking about the material, lighting, and the biro set up as a flip book and send it uh, to Unreal Engine. Also, they will talk about the atmosphere, how to set up the lighting there. Also some procedural modeling for the log development and uh, how to import all of the asset and material to the to unreal engine and a lot many many more and it's very detailed and comprehensive and it's done by godo bonzani a senior vfx technical artist and it is very comprehensive guide for filmmaking for especially unreal engine 5 and houdini you can find the link down below in the description and you will see the coupon for the discount and now it's with 59 dollar and with the discount it will go down even 15 percent off so hop in there and have a look so this is uh, the shape <coughs> i'll start with this one so this is an obj file we brought from the internet we would regular lighting I added a polyfill so I have a close shape I make sure it's on the ground and then I convert it to VDB as you can see at a voxel size of 0.1 surface so we have a VDB here then I converted the VDB back to polygon with some adaptation so I have less polygon so by this way I make sure that it's uh, water seal and tight with the uh, default adaptivity see it's very dense we we'll took about 90,000 polygon with this one 26,000 so it's smart enough for the flat surface to keep it not dense then I added a vellum cloth so this is the vellum cloth uh, uniform of point one and same drag and tangent stiffness i make it very very low because the plan is to make this uh, to create the constraint and make it fall down to take the initial shape so this is the stiffness very low and i exported the group of the st of the stretch as a cloth stretch the bend i make it 0 0.1 0.01 and I export it as a cloth bend. Then I add <coughs> I added vellum struts. As you can see, it will take 
it will create shapes like uh, toothpick between the points see so it's holding the geometry and the strut I make sure the strut length is 100 direction point 1 digital so it's not regular and the stretch stiffness I made it very low and I export it as a strut stretch then I created a group the group is the bones that's facing the ground because I want them to be bent to the ground and not to move so when we do the simulation it will not start to jump everywhere and it's bones and I call it bent in the villain trap this is uh, how to pre-simulate and prepare the cloth to have its uh, initial shape to run the simulation of vellum on top of it later on down below so here let's just remove the freeze frame uh, this is the frame that you want to take as initial I made sure we have a ground collision and we enable the collision and the self collision the forces I make it very strong 300 so it will push the whole uh, status status down to the ground and some velocity damping which is high so it will not jitter a lot and it will freeze very quick so we'll just run it as you can see it will take shape So now we reach let's say 100 I'm happy with frame 100 so here I will choose freeze frame 100 or I can save it to the disk and make sure to not recalculate again but for now we are okay so it's not moving then I added I added a velo cloth to enforce it And it's the same setting as uh, the one before I just copy and paste it down but I made sure it is very strong in the bend and the stretch also the strut I increase the damping ratio a little bit and I increase the stretch now in the solver I have a ground self collision for sub step to have accurate representation with 100 constraint forces I added some velocity damping so it will not jiggle a lot and I run the simulation then I added vellum post process with some subdivision and detangle and applying some weld to make it look nice then I save it to the disk and this is the outcome I applied material the material I applied is just a standard uh, milk preset from Arnold with some texture then I transform it in place and make sure it's not moving and I added a retime so it will run slower at 0.5 so this is how it will look I added another Geo so total of three status
and this is the final output for uh, this part where we use the dra uh, the drag to make it go flat and then we push it up like this the only thing that we need to mention is here that's the vellum constraint property I added this screw because without this step it will not inflate so you need this step to go inside the vellum solver create a vellum constraint property and it's active and you choose all of the constraint groups and I animated the stiffness exponential also I animated the multiplication linear by this way you will have the inflation without it no inflation will happen and that's the outcome Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe, comment and share and participate in my membership also. Thank you. Have a nice day.